Hi, love and friends. Chris here from American Light. How are you guys all doing today on this beautiful day? The sun's just setting right now. Oh, it's kind of in the distance in the trees somewhere. But it's I'm just sitting here relaxing in the forest after today's play. And I want to discuss some um, dark night of the soul. The purification process. The refining process. The rediscovering process. Unencumbering ourselves process. The healing process. The fun process. The process we all came here to do for this golden age. A beautiful opportunity to do this beautiful process, the dark night of the soul. A lot of us want to run from it. I know as an addict, I would run from my problems. I know that you could not do any geographic move or change jobs or you couldn't try different drugs or anything. You couldn't stop. You know, you can't, you can't just change things and expect not to face them. Everything comes back to you, no matter where you go, no matter what I did, I was always faced by myself. I always faced myself. It was always there. No matter what I did, no matter what kind of identity my ego wanted to present, I was still there, present with all the pain inside of me. And try to numb it, and try to numb myself, medicate it, try to run from it, try to face it. A lot of us do a lot of drugs. I know I lived on the streets. I've been there, man. I know. I'm trying to numb everything. Don't want to feel anything. I don't want to face anything. I want to blame everybody. Blame it. That's easy. It's their fault. Yeah, and make it make it feel like it's their fault. Yeah, that 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 gives that's a good excuse, eh? Yep. <coughs> Try attempting suicide. I blame. Yeah, turning attention, blame other people. Yeah, playing victim. Mm -hmm. I want to face myself. Yeah, all kinds of excuses I could make for myself. Not wanting to face myself. But then there came a day where I faced myself. Like you know, and as a children, we're taught not to feel our emotions. Well, men are anyways, you know, tough enough to be a man. So when I'm feeling with my emotions, I had to feel a lot of the hurt, a lot of pain, a lot of things I did, a lot of past hurt that I ran from. I didn't, I swallowed it down, sucked it up, didn't want to face it, built up anger, pain inside of me. And I had to be faced. This stuff has to be faced. It has to come up. And, and we have to face it this lifetime in the physical form during this golden age. It's not something we can run from. It's not something we can run from at all. So it's a purification process of coming home to who we are. A lot of us, sometimes we want to take it to the grave with us. We don't want to tell anybody about it. You know, I don't know if it's not AA, I mean, in step five, we tell someone about what we did in the past. And it's like a huge wave just poof, lifts off you. Like, whoa, and you feel every emotion. You're crying, tearing, laughing, joining, happy, sad, angry, upset, everything all at once. And it's like, wow, it's pretty exciting. A lot of emotion. So I say thank you, God, for like the ability to smile. You know, and see my smile. Thank you for being able to the body so I can feel all these beautiful emotions. Experience that bird, the squirrel going off there. Beautiful moments in physical form, touching things. Beautiful. Love it. It's beautiful. Thank you for everything. And feeling these emotions. You know, these things, they seem like, oh, no, we don't want to face emotions. We want to run from them. They're going to be painful. Well, the purification process here is facing all our emotions, everything you've done. So maybe in a relationship, maybe you're, like, in a job you don't like. Maybe you've done some things you regret. You're guilty about things, or maybe you're killing some guilt. You don't even know what it is. Maybe you're killing pain. You don't even know what it is. Past life pain. Maybe family karma pain. Who knows what it is? All this stuff has to be faced. Contracts, both owls, uh, all weighing things down for you, making it tough for you. Curses. Who knows what it is you're carrying inside of you? And all these things, the secrets, things that you're hiding from. Believe me, everything is recorded in this big intelligent universe. Everything that we've done is recorded, and it all has to be filtered back again. We think, oh, I'm going to die. I'll, do, I'll just die to spiritually grow. I'll just die. No, that's not going to happen. That's a crop will pay off. Let's get out of that one. And that's a lower fifth plane stuff. That's going to lock you down there and keep you along with the demons and stuff, make it really tough for you, make you stuck in that duality world. Not a place you want to be. Believe me, not a place you want to be at all. So it's about freeing yourself, freeing yourself on all levels in this beautiful purification process. So when you're, if you go on a dial, I'll just do it there. No, it doesn't happen. You have to do it in the physical form. So here we are in the physical form to feel everything, everything, face everything, be everything, everything. So every choice, decision that you have made right now is to face it. There's no one blaming anymore. And so I find sitting upon the master throne within, on this chair, the, the throne in your heart space, if you sit here, you sit in this beautiful place. You know, sometimes we're in the future, we're worrying about the future, we're in the past, we're angry, regretting and stuff. So we're not even in the present moment, we're not even right here. We're too much in other other places. And the soul fragments all over the place. You know, it's just a mangled mess. And then if we sit on the heart and we call back all the defragment aspects of ourself, 
everything comes through Creator's light first before your emotional body, you will find a beautiful process takes place. Because not all the emotions, if you're an empath, very sensitive, I was, I would pick up on everybody's stuff around me, wow. So I just wanted to find a way to not feel that as much. So you can't even go in the mall sometimes, wow. So no, you're just not doing your emotions, you're doing everybody's emotions, woo! Ah, that's quite a lot. So you want to have this white light in front of you, or all around you, wherever you want to do it, just a big, make that white light huge, right? And so all of your emotions, that are unprocessed or unprocessed thoughts or unprocessed fantasies or whatever they are from past lives, whatever they are that's going on, chatter, chatter, in your mind. What are, and the emotions and waves of emotions and things just can't contain them anymore. Whoa! So whatever that is, they have to go through this white light, but only the stuff that's relevant for you to feel, you feel. And so that's a lot. Oh, there goes a huge weight, eh? Whew, the boat's not sinking anymore. It's light. I can just focus on the things that you have to focus on. And that's the thing, because I'm a very sensitive empath. Right? And I can feel a lot. So I found that if I sit upon the master's chair and I'm present in this moment, this grateful moment, this beautiful moment, this pride moment, this goal moment, this moment of achievement, of realization of who I am, being in this present moment, enjoying everything, this beautifulness of it, so much beauty in the presentness. I was always worried about everything. But when I'm in this moment, I'm sitting upon the master's chair within, in the heart space, then every choice and decision I made is going through this white light and it's filtering through and I'm kind of filtering it through right now. What's relevant, what no longer serves me. Going through it, feeling it, embracing the emotions, crying every day, doing deep Akashic work in my innate body, my esoteric body, like deep body, doing some deep, deep Akashic work, just releasing and processing these emotions. Right? I do Akashic downloads on, on, on YouTube that I just just download and just feeling, feeling these emotions and being in it. So the dark night of soul is basically you cannot run from it. You feel every aspect of the dark night of soul, every choice decision you have ever made, you face it in the physical form and you embrace it, and you celebrate it, and you love it. No matter what it is, no matter what you've done, or you've been blamed for, whatever you've done, you face it now. And it's a beautiful thing, I'm telling you. Whew, it's a roller coaster, but it's a beautiful roller coaster. It's a beautiful ride, it's a loving ride, it's a magical ride. And I promise you, you'll have your sanity intact when you get out of it, right? And man, it's okay to cry. Believe me, that's a, that's, that's a real man. You're in tuned with all that you are all your emotions, everything that you are. So I'm just doing the doggies right now, sitting on this like tree trunk right here in the middle of the, in the woods here. And so, and just kind of just enjoying the moment. And I tell you, when you face everything, it won't be so hard anymore. It's gonna be light. The Creator will make it light for you. It's a Creator, I ask for this to be with ease and grace. I call back all defragmented aspects. So sit upon the master chair within, Creator. I call back all defragmented aspects myself through your light, Creator all through your light and all that's relevant for me to feel and be and present with and to work through. Please allow that through. You know what I mean? Just allow the stuff that I need to feel, to process, to be, to become who I am destined to become greater. Allow it to come through this light into my emotional body and feel it. Everything in your auras, your chakras, your whole beingness entity. Search every area of your being. Forgive. Forgive everybody. Just feel. Just feel and be. And set yourself free because you already are free inside. It's just this beautiful game of life has kind of wore us down. It's been a long time since the last golden age. So it's been tough here for a while. It's been tough for a lot of us. We haven't been able to see very easy. But now is a great opportunity. We're all rising together as one. Okay, so enjoy the beautiful process of redefining yourself and coming back into your wholeness. And that's you, your beautiful being that you are. And thank you so much for uh, enjoying this beautiful uh, video today. So just kind of ground yourself again, come back into this moment. Set yourself free. Beautiful being that you are. So be it. Bye. Yo.